Stan Jamalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I just uh, had an idea pop into my head as I was browsing the aisles of the supermarket looking for my favorite poison diet soda, Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> and uh, it's funny, some things were picked over in that store and other things not. But that wasn't what I was thinking about while I was going through the store. What I was thinking about was the idea of using a 4 to 1 Ballon uh, unit. You know, they sell 4 to 1 Ballon uh, coils for use with uh, coaxial cable running up to the Ballon coil and then the antenna connects to the balanced part of the of the ballon. Uh, they use their one to one balans and four to one balans. So you might use, say, a four to one balan with a 52 ohm coax and a balanced antenna that offers a 200 ohm impedance, purely resistive. But I thought of uh, a, what? So can you use a four to one balan backwards? Have any of you ever done that? Um, wh what I was thinking of was, suppose that you have a, a ground plane antenna located somewhere out in the middle of, your, of a farm field somewhere or the middle of your property. You happen to be lucky enough to own 40 acres or 160 acres or a ranch or something. And you want that antenna out in the middle of nowhere and you want to put it up really high, you know, lightning attractor, lightning magnet, right? Um, well, you disconnect the antenna, let the lightning fry the antenna, but not the radio and not you. Uh, it, it's like, or on top of a mountain near your house, you know, a couple of miles away. You happen to own uh, 10 square miles of property. You know, you're one of those commoners. Okay, well I, mean, well, I was thinking of some kind of a situation like that. And you put a ground plane antenna up there, full-size, 80-meter ground plane vertical antenna. It offers a 52-ohm or 50-ohm impedance at the feed point because the radials serve as guy wires in the middle of the antenna and slope down at about a 45-degree angle. 66 foot vertical, 66 foot radials, and then a four to one ballon connected backwards so that the unbalanced part goes to the antenna. Because after all, a ground plane antenna is an unbalanced antenna. And ladder line is far lower in loss and far cheaper than 50 ohm coaxial cable, even of the very best kind. You're not going to be able to afford a mile of 52 ohm coaxial cable, but you can perhaps afford a mile of good ladder line, and uh, or you can you could make your own. Although I reckon it would take you a little while to cobble together a mile of that stuff. But the, but you do have 300 ohm ladder line. Did I say 50 ohm ladder line? Uh, no. 300 ohm ladder line. You could, uh, that would, the 4 to 1 ballon would then step that down to 75 ohms. Or you could take 450 ohm uh, ladder line and double it up to make a 225 ohm line out of it. Uh, so you'd have a four wire transmission line, roughly 200 ohms, 225 ohms, connect it to the balanced end of the ballon coil, run it a mile to your station. You'd have a fairly low standing wave ratio on that uh, line. As long as the standing wave ratio is under two to one, any transmission line that you may use will offer negligible additional loss caused by the standing wave ratio, no matter what type it is. So I guess you could use 300 ohm, good solid 300 ohm ladder line to your station. 
it's you know maybe three quarters of a mile away your big old lightning magnet 80 meter full-size ground plane antenna on top of a high hill but it's not near your house you run that thing down just you know you have a few uh, utility poles <laughs> cheap antenna right you run it down and but you're in a ravine say or in a gulch where propagation is just it's not practical to get an antenna up high enough deadwood the town of deadwood is in a gulch and, and uh, high frequency communication hf band communication or any kind of low angle communication is out of the question if you live in deadwood unless you have a, a 300 foot tower uh, nobody's going to do that but you could put an antenna up on top of one of the hills near deadwood and run the ladder line uh, with the permission of the authorities uh, to some utility poles up to one of the you know something like that some very unlikely scenario but nevertheless i was just thinking have any of you ever thought about doing something like that even or have any of you ever actually done it used a ballon coil in reverse backwards to feed an unbalanced antenna with a balanced line tell us your story we're dying to hear down here in the gulch longingly looking up at the sky wishing we had a 300 foot tower or else or else what you'll notice i'm wearing no hat it's because i have no mood they're mood hats and when i wear no hat i have no mood and i haven't had any mood for quite some time oh well whatever stan jibalisco signing off w1 gv saying 73 and so long regardless of the antenna type or feed line that in my native fist always shall translate to da 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 let me make that clearer da 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 da